welcome everyone um, to our virtual tour today. I'm, my name is Brad Burton. I'm a lecturer here at North Metropolitan TAFE in eBlock at Kendrew Crescent. Um, we, I'm just going to basically talk about um, obviously the campus, the, the cool equipment we get, the amazing food we get to cook, um, and some or a little bit of information about the certificates uh, that we deliver as well. Um, when we come to uh, the campus, it can sometimes be a little bit tricky to find, but you just got to remember to look for eBlock and that's where we'll be. Um, my role here is a lecturer. I um, have been lucky enough to be working here for about eight years now. Um, I deliver Cert 2, R3, uh, it jumped in on Cert 4 as, as well. Um, that's my bread and butter is the cookery side of it. Um, we also, um, are lucky enough to get to get out and about and touch base with with industry with our roles as well. Um, we'll talk about duration of courses and we'll go into a little bit of depth with some of that stuff as well pretty soon. Um, so cookeries are out there today in the big world. Um, we love cooking. We see it all over uh, the internet. Well, guess what? We get to cook every day here in our courses. We get to look at great ingredients. Um, we get to um, interact with others. And really importantly, we get to taste what we cook, which is a great part for me. We also have um, amazing um, facilities here. And we'll talk about that a little bit more and, and some of those facilities and modern techniques that we'll use as well. But basically the, the um, units or qualifications that we deliver here, we do, Commercial cookery certificate three. So that runs for two semesters and that entails uh, 25 units. We have apprentices here, which runs uh, over a five semester period. That's one day a week uh, for apprentices and they do four days a week um, in their workplace. We do a combined retail bakery, uh, bakery and patisserie. Uh, we do courses there. There's it's up to three uh, semesters and 22 units. So I'll have a look at those in a moment. We also do certificate four. That's one semester, 14 units. Hospitality as well. Let's not forget hospitality, who we really need people out there um, uh, looking after us when we go out to dine. Well, they get to look at quite a few units. I think it's up to about 30 units is what they do. So they're super busy. So our faci facilities here at uh, eBlock are vast. Um, we in, well, we have four kitchens. Three of them are basically production kitchens where our students come in. They get uh, a, a, a bench space for themselves, stoves, chopping boards, bowls, pots, pans. So pretty much when you walk in, you have everything you need. We also obviously have the ingredients. Um, we do a large scale kitchen where we have a restaurant. We cook for the restaurant from Tuesday to Friday. We do lunch and dinners um, through that kitchen. In our patisserie retail bakery kitchen, we have fantastic, um, it's, I call it the first class room. It's got retail ovens. It's got big provers. It's got all the latest tech that you need to help with proving of breads, making pastries, cakes. Um, it, it comes with lecturers that have been out in the industry for a long time and they're, they're experts in their field. We, we have um, access as well to great ingredients. The skills kitchens, skills one and two, uh, in terms of our equipment, we use obviously um, salamanders, we use fryers, ovens, we have range hoods. We also have access to water circulators and some of the other equipment needed uh, for those cutting edge kitchens where hopefully our students will end up working. Um, in terms of cost, um, cost, you can access our website um, to, to, to really nail down on the costs. But there's some other things I thought that we could talk about was uniforms, knives, stationary textbooks. So uniforms, um, we, we have fairly heavily partnered with Totally Workwear. They look after our students with uniforms and suggested knife sets. Um, station, we just really have um, standard pens and textbooks. We don't really need a lot of that kind of hard copy stuff because it's all done through Blackboard online, which is very good for the student. So the th 
cert three units that we do, so certificate three in cookery. So we, I'll just give you a little, a, a quick rundown on a couple of the units. So we do things like basic methods, right through to cakes, pastries, dietary, seafood and meat. So we start off doing, uh, out of our 25 units, the, the more simpler units, um, which is like basic methods. So it's, we're looking at poaching, frying, grilling um, and baking. And then we, I, I guess, we need to be a little bit um, savvy these days with our dietary units. So we go into that um, unit in depth and we talk about dietary situations for people and customers out there. And then we get really highly skilled um, with our seafood and meat, how to break down different cuts and, and different seafood. Retail, uh, bakery and patisserie, um, again, a little bit different, but we look at producing gattos, yeast-based based pastries, Petty fours, hospitality as well, also provide services or provide service to customers, important operator bar, prepare and, and service coffee as well. Cert four is um, a, a, a next level, I guess. We do our cert three, then we jump into the cert four. But we're looking at diversity in the workplace. We're looking at um, implementing buffets. We're, we're looking at um, also providing um, I guess, preparing appetizers and salads and things like that. Does the certificate three get me a job in the mining sector? Well, it doesn't get us a job, but it's certainly the minimum requirement we need, it, we need is a certificate three commercial cookery. That's what they'll ask for. Um, and you can get that through us. What's the difference between an apprenticeship um, and a certificate three in commercial cookery? Well, actually the units that, are, that the students do are the same. Um, one is done, a certificate three is done on site at, uh, at TAFE, that gives you your 25 units and an apprenticeship is done in the workplace and that's done through TAFE one day a week. But essentially you get the same units after those, after completion of both of those. Um, also I've been asked about should I do a certificate four after I've completed a certificate three. Well, that's really probably purely up to the student where they see themselves going, what they want to um, get out of their qualification. I always suggest if they're going to go into management or they want to have their own business, then a certificate four would be well uh, worthwhile. Well, there's massive demand obviously out there for chefs. There has been um, for, for a couple of years now. I think moving into the future, there's going to be shortages um, the, the great thing about TAFE is we're teaching them skills that they need today and those skills are going to help them out in, in the, uh, the job world. We also have lecturers here with great connections throughout the industry. Um, they often buddy uh, the students up with um, potential job or they put jobs on the notice board so it can really help you with uh, connecting to a job by doing the Cert 3, Cert 4. Uh, obviously the bakery and hospitality roles as well.